Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again at our little Frosh channel. I see we're getting heaps and heaps of folks coming in, so this will be a fun one. I know we've done quite a few of the CEU type classes over the last few months for all the people that wait the last minute to, to get you know their CEU classes for the year. So uh, I bet you guys are excited to have something else come your way. For a change, right, we'll be talking about products. Okay, so you know what? It is 12, it is 12.01. So just to be prompt, we will hop in and uh, people that will come in a little later, I guess they'll just miss hopefully just a few seconds of this. So let's get going. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is Frosh, uh, Frosh Acoustics. If this is your first time uh, joining us, this uh, and don't know much about us, we are an acoustical manufacturer. We produce products for ceilings, walls, as well as some acoustical lighting and dividers. We are located um, outside of Dallas Fort Worth air area in Arlington, where we manufacture everything. We make. My name is Slavi Younger Nightingale, and I am one of the co-founders of Frosh. Uh, you've probably seen my mug quite a bit if you've joined us before, because I tend to be the one that does um, the CEU courses as well as introduction of products and educational stuff. Since this is sort of what I, what I uh, enjoy, so that's why I do spend quite a bit of time on this side of the things. So, what are we talking about today? We are talking about strata wood color expansion. Um, if you're not new to Frosh, you are super familiar with strata wood. Why? Because this has been a bit of a beautiful surprise for us. Uh, we have introduced strata wood uh, really just in 2022, and very quickly it got to the top five products for our company. Uh, so it has been definitely a winner for us, and you know for but clearly the designers absolutely love it. So what will we do today is we will do a little bit of a recap and then we'll talk about all the uh, changes we have made and also all the new colors that are available to uh, for you to um, to offer up and to the new designs. So we'll talk about what strata wood is, then we'll talk about the differences between strata wood and strata wood light. We'll talk about the styles and performance installation options and then of course i also included the detail and some beautiful projects um that uh, we've already got some photography on you know this is all of us probably favorite part um so let's get through uh the the uh, educational part quickly so we can get to the beautiful photography all right so what is strata wood so for those of you guys that are hearing this term first time what it is it's a combination of wood veneer mdf and pet felt so the black part on the back is made out of nine millimeter pet felt that is the part that gives you the the performance right that gives you the acoustical absorption what you see in the front is a uh, is a uh, mdf pieces that have a wood veneer on top in different colors, right? So what you actually experience visually, it just looks like planks of wood with spacing uh, in between, right? Which the back could be paint or just really shadow. So that's kind of what you perceive it as. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's very, you know, it's kind of, sort of a modern, uh, clean, a uh, bit of a bi biophilic experience, right? Because we're, we're adding natural, natural finish into your design so I, that's my uh that's my guess as to why it is so um very popular um so quick look at what what i said what's the differences between strata wood and strata wood light so the one essentially the one and only difference is that strata wood light does not have mdf what does that mean it means that it's thinner and it's lighter, and it's also as far as sustainability goes, it's a, it's a better product to use, right? Um, you know, honestly, Strata Wood Regular is the one that's super popular, and I'd sell Strata Wood Light by a leaps and bounds, just because I think it visually, when you look at the samples or you can look at the big pieces, it just looks more robust, more and more. Um, you know, it feels like a real thing, if you will, real thing. Uh, but I will show you some photos that we just kind of what we're struggling with as far as marketing goes is that once it's installed, especially ceilings, 
they look the same. The reason they look the same is because your eye will process the openings uh, as as the same, right? So the big difference that we have here is the is the weight, right? So because the uh, MDFs is the heaviest part of the product, you go from 35 pounds per two by eight piece all the way down to all the way to 4.8. So dramatically different um, different weight, and we know heavier the product more you know more uh costly to ship and also the installation uh costs go up especially when you're dealing with ceiling installations the, what are the other changes as far as performance uh, you can see there's some drop off in nrc or noise reduction coefficient um performance but it's not dramatic right uh you go from 80 nrc to uh 70 uh when using it as a ceiling installation and then from there you can kind of see the differences uh differences from there uh you guys know that i like questions because this is me talking to the ether i absolutely feel like i'm talking to myself so this is like my way to force you to like uh entertain uh, and participate right so i i don't feel crazy so the question is super easy easy uh, which is kind of what we just addressed. I'm just trying to see if you're listening, right? So let me launch the question. So the question is, what feature makes Strata with Light more appropriate for ceiling applications, right? Um, go ahead and pick its density, clarity, lower weight, general awesomeness. Um, and uh, so go for it. Let's see what, what you guys think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can, see, you guys are there and you're listening to me, which I appreciate it. Like we already got 75 people voting. You know, you're the best. I have to say this. Okay, so let me give you, let me show you the answer uh, because, you know, uh, we made it too easy. And uh, the reason I giggled is because 92% um, said lower weight, which is correct. But 8% of you are very funny and you put what I wanted to what I hoped you guys put, which is general awesomeness, <laughs> also acceptable answer. Yeah, so the answer is the weight, right? The weight makes a dramatic difference what you can do, especially when you're dealing with something like a T-grid uh, ceiling and things that, you know, you have to consider what the what the ceiling can handle, right? Is it is it impossible? Of course not. Of course it's um, it's available to you to, to use it, but, you know, there's just more costs and more things to consider when using something heavier like strata wood. So what we'll go through really quickly is wall installation and then ceiling installations. Uh, so you kind of get to see what we're talking about. So as far as walls, there's three basic ways you can do it. If you want to um, uh, uh, increase the sound absorption, you want air cavity. To do air cavity, you, you want to do uh, furring strips. You can do furring strips with PET felt or actually even wood, whatever the preference there is. Um, so you can sort of do that. And then if you want to do a direct, you can either direct glue or you can actually also just screw it from the front. This is actually very uh, quick and inexpensive way to do it. What's beautiful when you're dealing with the black PET uh, and black screws, it kind of disappears, right? But if you want completely clean, 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 our results obviously gluing is the way to go so what does that look like and a few hints that i'm going to show you here in this video is is um is the finishing right so uh regardless if you glue or you you um screw uh the product in you will have things like uh going around the plugs right or changing the changing the the, the the length and width that you need and what this video shows by the way you can you can see this video on our website as well as on our youtube channel um it kind of shows you one of the ways to do it this this is kind of the beginning part of yes of course measure your walls good idea always um but and this is this is what it looks like when you first throw out the walls and you do your placement one thing i do want to advise uh, when you do use this product of really any product where it is important um, that everything is lined up, that you do get craftsmen that can certainly do that. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there was like a little additional lip on one side of the PET panels that will allow you to, to space the panels evenly. Um, if you cut off uh, a piece, like you've just seen before, our little uh, advice is put a tape over it so your wood doesn't splinter. And if you're cutting uh, through the PET, 
uh, you can actually use what works the best is a sharp um, a box a box cutter works really really well right you can just really slice it you can usually what works really well you slice once to kind of make your line and second time across the same line to finish it off um hey, Slavi, we're still seeing the poll really oh sorry i don't know why thank you for catching that maybe close is it gone yep oh okay did you not see the video at all you saw the poll the whole time all right, sorry about that. Thank you, Carolyn, for catching that. Um, so it can run here in the background. Uh, there's a couple other things that I want to mention. One of the reasons why I think that Strata wood has been quite popular is partly the price of of wood. Uh, the the cost of Strata wood, even if you're not going for it uh, for the acoustical performance, but uh, for the um, for the visual thing, you know, it actually can be less expensive than doing individual planks on the wall using some other wood product. So that's really where you wanna do. And plus, of course, the NRC is quite good. Where I'd like to spend a little more time is talking about talking about the extrusion portion. So I did take some pictures, this is, uh, pictures for you guys to show you what we mean. One of the things that we've been hearing you guys talk about is the finishing, right? How do we finish that? I mean, in the, even in the video that I showed you earlier that you only partly got to see, apologies for that, uh, technical difficulties, I'm gonna say, <laughs> is, is the finishing, right? One option is uh, leave, it, leave, it, leave it naked. You know, that's definitely one of the looks, but that's not always what, what is appropriate to what you're trying to do, right? The other option is your uh, craftsman can do wood that they can stay and finish it off. But what we are able to do for you now, we have extrusions for the look that you can see here, right? They, they come in black and silver. They, they are available for the skinny uh, or light, so I would light as well as strata with regular. And also we have this middle piece and I actually have them all here, which I know my you, I'm tiny on the screen, so I'm not sure how helpful this is. But you can see it's a really easy thing that you literally slide on and um, slide it onto the strata wood and it works for you. Uh, the other way professionals tell me that they use it is actually create, uh, adding the extrusion on the bottom of the wall because let's say their wall is far from uh, leveled. So they have a leveled piece that they're starting with, right, to accommodate for the imperfection in the real world. And that's where they slide the, the strata wood to get started, right? So something like this. Uh, so this is a big innovation. You know, we were kind of thinking, how do we make sure we are the easiest uh, to buy from? Also, how do you get a complete thing instead of, oh, go find an expert that will that will finish the edges or go figure out a, you know, extrusion that matches. We don't want to be that guy, right? So if we listen to you and we have a complete solution for you so you can actually offer it up and it will look beautiful and finished at the end. So let's look at ceiling installations, right? So ceiling installation, obviously you can direct um, attach to the wall. You can either fur out, do again, furring strips or direct attachment. Like I said, pay attention to the weights as you choose the strata wood versus strata wood light when you do this. The same rules apply about cutting around obstacles, right? Uh, as, as we've seen before. Um, you know, we used to say for uh, drop ceiling, only uh, use strata wood light. We don't recommend the others, but you guys proved us wrong too many times. So here's the thing. There is a drop ceiling um, that is rated for higher weights that you absolutely, that can absolutely handle strata wood, right? Uh, however, strata wood light for easy install certainly works uh, as well. And it's just much easier. However, I have some beautiful, photos to show you that please you do you uh, whatever works for you do that and as far as um, how to do it there's two different ways right you can cut strata wood into the tile size uh, you know there are two uh, the panels that come are two feet wide which is actually perfect right it's, you can do two by four or two by two depending on what your tiles are right and you'll cut them into a size and you slot and you just drop them in as you would regular uh, tile right or if you're trying to create a look where the uh, the tiger becomes completely invisible, you attach them from the bottom, right? So you actually attach them, you screw them directly to the tiger 
I know in this photo it actually shows they're cut still into two by four, but that's not really necessary, right? Uh, and you could attach it from the bottom and it completely all disappears. So voila, you have the wood ceilings at a fraction of the cost, right? So this is a way to do it. Again, I want to say pay attention to the weight, start out with only five, under five pounds, start out with regular 35 pounds. So make sure that whatever uh, hardware you use can accommodate that. I kind of touched on this earlier. Uh, about where you can cut. This was sort of what was in the video that I managed to not show you. Apologies for that. But it's designed as a ship lab, as 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 you know, which means there's a lip, extra lip of PET on one side of the strata, which to make it easy uh, to uh, put them next to each other and maintain the spacing. Uh, when you're cutting uh, through the wood, we recommend that you do a quick tape just to just to protect the wood and then. If you're cutting through the PET section, box knife will uh, is is all you need. So here are the original four colors, right? This is the the four colors that we have uh, that you might be familiar with. So out of curiosity, I have one more question, one last question, because I know I cannot overuse my favorite tool here. Uh, uh, is how many new strata wood colors do you think we are introducing? So pick one. Uh, that sounds the best to you. It's four, is it six, is it eight, or is it nine? Um, I'm so glad you guys came to play <laughs> and you're answering. Makes me happy. Um, yeah, you know, I, I wish we could do it with this many people where I can still see you guys, but it's impossible, you know, and there's hundreds sometimes of you out there, so we can't do like cameras back and all that. Um, so for now, we at least have polls. All right, so great news is, I guess it's a great news. 17% um, of you guys said, I'm sorry, 29% of you guessed correctly. And rest of you either guessed 20, uh, four, six, or eight. So I guess hopefully we are making you happy that's actually more. Uh, then we guess so uh, yeah no it's actually nine different colors um carolyn can you i'm not blocking anything right am i let me just make uh, sure yeah, i put poll is still up okay i don't know why it's doing that okay is it good now yep good now okay perfect so the colors we are introducing are divided into two categories one is standard collection uh, standard uh, colors which uh, is also things we will be stock uh, that have regular uh, lead times, which is two to four weeks for for this. Um, and the two that we're adding, you can see in here, it's white ash with the light caramel backer, and ebony with pure caramel backer. And I'm going to talk a little more about the backer on my next page because you can see it there a little more. Um, but first, let me tell you about the exotic colors. So the second set, another uh, seven colors are what is considered exotic woods. Uh, these we will not stock because they we might eventually, right? But these are a less common option, but they're absolutely gorgeous. They're a little harder to, there's a wood veneers that are a little harder to find in the general offering. Uh, but we wanna make sure to give you these, these sort of access to these things so your project can be one of the kind, right? That's the idea behind it. So you can see all the different um, different options as they are. And what you also are probably noticing that is different between uh, the new off offering versus the old one, we are not using a black PET only, right? Uh, one of the things that we have heard from folks is that sometimes that dramatic of a difference between the wood color and the black is too much, right? Sometimes kind of it blending in together a little more is what's desired. So what we have done is on a lot of these backers, we chose a light camel, pure camel, brown or black, uh, depending what what we felt was the least dramatic of a difference, but still a bit of a little bit of a a uh, little bit of a definition there to choose from. Uh, so you'll see they're slightly different. Uh, backers there. This is kind of how they come. The other thing about the exotic woods, you do I mean, you do have to be ready for a longer lead time. So these are for projects where you can make these decisions early on because it will be 12 to 14 weeks, which if you work in a project, honestly, 12 to 14 weeks is about what a lot of our competition's normal lead times are. So I hope that's going to be fine. The other one, uh, one thing is there's also a sizable minimum order quantity. It's 400 sheets. So if you are looking for doing one wall 
a couple walls. I hope you can find something comparable to what you fell in love under our regular stocked items. Uh, but if you're looking for something, some big projects, all this is available to you. You go for it. I can't wait to see the photos when it's all finished and ready. Um, okay, so now the fun part. Let's look at let's look at some of the uh, new colors in environments. So what you see here, this rift cut white oak. By the way, guys, uh, if you don't have the samples, please request them because you know everything looks just better and um, when you do it. So what we what we have, this is what the whole box of all the samples looks like, right? So it's a lot of options. It's really absolutely beautiful when you see it in person. So these are a couple of the new colors. Here you have ebony and tulip, right? Completely different, um, different um, look, right? You can go really rich, you can go really subtle, you can go modern, right? You can very much create very different looks. What I love, and we actually worked with a couple hotels already, is that if you want a statement wall, right? Um, why not do, you, you probably wouldn't even need to do a headboard, right? Why don't do something cool with the with something like strata wood? So there's a couple other ideas here, rosewood, white ash, uh, there's oak and wench, you know, entries, uh, staircases, uh, statement walls, uh, hallways, uh, it's sky's the limit to where you can put it. You know, I usually gravitate personally to like lighter colors, but Van Gogh actually is my new favorite. I think it's absolutely perfect. Honestly, this image does not do give it justice. It's really, it's not like depressing dark. It's just rich and calming and absolutely beautiful. These guys here, you probably recognize. It's just a quick look at what we also have. These are our traditional colors. I'm just going to get through it really quickly because what I do want to show you is uh, some of the completed projects that we've done this year. Um, you know, some of these images actually are not are amateur images. We're still waiting for professional sh shots, but we're amongst the friends. So I think you guys will appreciate to seeing them and see, you know, what people have done. So Mirrored Hotels it has been using uh, PET file on a lot of their uh, on a lot of their projects, and actually the shot you see in here that are using light. P, uh, this is a strata wood light, right? Once you look at it, and these are real close-up shots, it's hard to tell if it's if it's strata wood or strata wood light. So uh, don't discount light. It might have a future in your projects. Definitely go for it. This is just a statement wall that they did, like around here. There's a small big office building. Actually, we forgot to include where it is. Isn't this fun, right? They kind of took um, some ideas from our, I think, from our maybe our uh, some photo renders but i think it turned out absolutely beautiful um this office is beautiful this is actually a really innovative spot it's a it's a it's ambulatory services they really cater to really make it uh really easy to um uh, for, for folks that have a lot of different things that they need to you know need to ch check up uh on sort of the older generation but look at this is an office. This is a doctor's office, right? This is how you want to walk in. Look, they used it on the walls, on the ceilings. I love how they chose to frame it. I love that gold choice they've made. But then they also used it, and you look at the bottom picture, they chose to do it actually also in the ceiling. And it looks like they're using a traditional, uh, um, traditional drop ceiling, right? And choosing to have the have the borders exposed, which looks absolutely awesome. I absolutely love how this turned out. And this one, it's, it's Vega. Uh, they are also a super fun company. And I love their photos so much that actually I think I put three pictures of it because it does seem like they love Stratawood so much because it's all over their office. Um, so this is how they did the entry, right? So they did the entry, and I'm sure you probably recognize our baffles in the photo as well. Look, they played around with the colors, and they also played around with positioning, right? They had they done some amazing work. This is their... A conference room then put it around pillars you know it does look like one of those areas i unfortunately didn't get to see this live but it looks like it's like a you know like an exposed space right concrete floors pillar concrete pillars exposed ceiling so this is a way to really warm up a spot right introduce uh warm colors like 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 wood and also uh, you know talking about really cutting down on the reverb and space like that uh you can see they did the they did it around these uh, pillars as well, went in with different 
area. And also, if you look at the small photo, they even actually utilize to uh, the they actually even utilize uh, to do it between the cabinetry, right? They just put it as a little accent thing, which I think is beautiful. And I don't think it's too much. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm totally in love with this project. I think it looks amazing. Uh, here's another one. Interestingly enough, Healthcare is really, I guess, interested in, in strata wood. Again, interesting ceiling. These are all, you can see, these are still raw photos. It's not, you know, juiced up yet, but they did some really interesting ways to really change kind of their basic drop ceiling and change the direction things like that you can see no issues with cutting around the uh cutting around the lighting and everything else it really turned out really really pretty so this brings me to an end of the presentation i hope this was helpful uh if you haven't gone to frosh.com slash samples please do that request samples you want this to have on hand as we're going to make all the difference people people need to see this uh, as far as what's coming up next we have a uh, an expert installer that i'll be interviewing his name is alan alfano and he's with merrick brothers and it's so interesting from that perspective so please please join us i think it's really useful very helpful conversation and uh, another update which look up for the days we will be actually releasing a ceu uh, out of, uh, once a month we're going to release the dates um, to help you guys out and adding two extra ones. We'll be talking, we are, we are in the uh, process to build a hospitality related acoustical class as well as division nine walls and ceiling acoustical class as well. So you can kind of expand um, your knowledge a little more related to different categories of, of, um, uh, of what you design in. Final announcement, Pixel, this is the next thing we're excited about. Q2, here we come. It's going to be all about Pixel. I will definitely make sure that there is a um, there is a webinar date on all the stuff available for you. This is a game changer. Uh, this actually is probably going to be the this is the first product we have that's truly NRC one when it's on the wall. This is literally as high absorption as what you would use in recording studios. So definitely don't miss that. Don't miss that again. Pretty soon, samples galore. You can certainly uh, start looking for those as well. And I always forget to do this. I forget to say, if you have any questions, type them into the question sections. Um, but you did, you typed out lots of questions. Oh, good, okay. Uh, because, you know, I can't open your uh, thing, so I can't do that. Um, oh, you telling me about, you cannot see because I'm on the poll, sorry. So most of the, the comments are that. Uh, Okay, so, oh, one question there is like, uh, can these bend to curve around a wall? Strata wood light actually does bend. There is a limit to the curvature that you can do, but absolutely, if you have like a sizable uh, pillar or things like that, there, there, there is a, there is a gift, right? So with a strata wood regular, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, it's not flexible enough to, to do that. Um, if you do have any more questions, you know how to reach us. Some of the smartest folks live. Oh, what is, what's your uh, longest single length? So the panels come in two feet by eight feet. That's sort of the optimal size for shipping. So they always will come that all cuts are made in the field to make it, you know, to make it smaller. That's what you do. And to finish up the project, you just, uh, you know, keep adding uh, as you go. Thank you so much. I know we are at our 30 minutes. I greatly appreciate uh, you joining us. If you have any questions at all, the smartest folks in this building are behind quotes at frosh.com. They will help you figure out how much stuff you need in order for your place to sound the way you promise your customer it will sound. They will figure out your prices. They will figure out your colors, availability, lead times, blah, blah, blah. Those are the masters of this. I'm just a talking head. Thank you so much, guys, again. I appreciate you, and we will talk soon. Bye-bye.